There's nothing to get. Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. I shouldn't. He paid a lot of money for that. Oh, I've got plenty of those at home. It's busted up good. They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacles recycle stuff. It's already open. Maybe that isn't such a hot idea.
the crank is missing. Looks pretty old. It's even heavier than it looks. Taking you back to the kennel. I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. It's attached to the chronogen. I think it'd take a longer cord. Wow, a pulley! By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force.
Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? It says opener. It says medulla oblongator. Laverne, I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. Is your hair naturally blue? Natural? I guess. This took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the hair competition in the bag. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If you have a human you want to enter, you'd better get it down here. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Hey, hold that thought. I got a boogie. Keep in touch! Sorry, I'm under strict orders from Tentacle Number One, the Almighty Elder, the Grand Pooba, Purple Tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. But I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> and a darn attractive one, I might add. But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. 
Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good looking tentacle. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey. You came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Huh, you losers can't even ride tricycles. You see why no one wants them as pets? Don't you recognize me? Uh, no, I, uh... Hey, aren't you the waitress from Club Tentacle? I love that place. I'd be there right now if I weren't flat broke. I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. There's no way to open it. Why would I want to get through there anyway? It's a two-story drop to the showroom floor. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. Nobody I know. Someone seems to have <laughs> bolted it to the table. It's a dented old can. There's a plaque here about it. In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention, interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, A.D. 1795. Sorry about the dents. It's fastened to the wall. It's sunny out. Looks comfortable. No time for that now. Bernard might like it, but it's way too tacky for me. No time to relax, I'm trying to save the world. It looks too heavy to move. Great Scott! You're purple! Uh, um... Yes? I couldn't help noticing you ranting. Not ranting, plotting. So, what are you plotting? 
I'm building a shrinking ray, which I can use to shrink those pesky humans out of my sight for good. Tell me more about this shrinking ray of yours. I call it the Diminuator. The biggest problem left is to design a trigger that doesn't require fingers. Say, you look kind of familiar. Of course I do, Nitwit. I'm Purple Tentacle, renowned world conqueror. Are you the same Purple Tentacle who knew Dr. Fred? Up on your ancient history, are you? Yes, I remember that insignificant insect. If you will excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? Chuckle, chuckle. I can't. It's behind the glass. That's the spirit. Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Ah, here it comes. My finest hour. Tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Like That's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir! That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. He was scratching his back on the fence, I think.
But no one gets to this clock. I don't Rats. Stop chattering, mummy. The judges will think you're chewing gum. And that sound is giving me a headache. Oh, this will never work. I don't even feel like touching it. No way, those things are dangerous. No way, those things are dangerous. Nah, that might be useful. That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Can't get close to him. It's already open. I can't pick it up. Oh no, I hate the sound of teeth biting forks. <laughs> <laughs> 